Tonight, K-File investigates. In a new report, you'll see first out front. The K-File team scoured Kamala Harris's tweets and statements going all the way back to 2017. And what they found was more than 50 instances of Harris slamming Trump's border wall. But now, new Harris campaign ads actually showcase that very wall. As a border state prosecutor, she took on drug cartels and jailed gang members for smuggling weapons and drugs across the border. And on top of critical tweets, Harris also wrote in her 2019 book, quote, there was a bigger reason to oppose the border wall. A useless wall on the southern border would be nothing more than a symbol, a monument standing in opposition to not just everything I value, but to the fundamental values upon which this country was built. How could I vote to build what would be little more than a monument designed to send the cold, hard message, keep out? So, Andrew, I mean, you, you and you, you all have gone through, I mean, scoured an incredible amount of material. Tell me more about what you found. Yeah, that's right. We found more than 50 of those those tweets criticizing the border wall before she used that in her ad. And I want people to take a, a look at just a few uh, of what she said here. She called it wasteful, useless, a waste of taxpayer money, a vanity wall project, a wasteful border wall, a stupid wall, a medieval vanity project and an unnecessary wall. Uh, and those are really just, I mean, there were more of this, just like 10 or like 50. But there was really, there was really a lot of this was the common refrain during the campaign. You read that quote where she said it was against everything that not only she stood for, everything uh, America stood aboard. But and she brought this up a lot. Take a listen to just one instance of that in 2019. It's the president's vanity project. His multi-billion dollar vanity project called a wall is nothing more than a distraction from the fact that he actually hasn't focused on working people in America. He contrived a national crisis around his big distraction. All right, so you go through all of that, you've got all the tweets, and yet all of a sudden in the ads there's pictures of the wall, mm -hmm. and then you went through to look at that wall. Yeah. Like, what is that specific wall that's in her, her campaign ads now? And you found something very interesting about this specific portion of the yeah. wall. And what's I think what's also really remarkable about this is like, I mean, you heard her talking about it there, the Trump's wall in his campaign during his presidency. There was really no greater symbol of Trump's presidency than the wall in the way that Democrats were attacking him over the wall and his restrictive immigration policies. So we looked in that ad and that exact area of wall is in uh, Sasabe or, or Sasabe, Arizona. And that is a portion of wall that was actually built by Donald Trump. It was built in an area uh, where there was not previous wall. It was actually pretty controversial when they were building it uh, at the time. For other she was using his wall that he built to say, look at what I did, mm -hmm. and, basically. And, and the <laughs> other images of the wall, uh, we weren't able to pinpoint, but there's, there's telltale signs that that was a Trump wall because there's an anti-climbing plate on top that became popularized during the Trump years. It's really incredible reporting and, and important, all right?